Retaliation for an attack that happened weeks ago may have touched off a wild chain of events in Roseville. One man is on the run now after gunfire led to a police chase and a crash. Kevin Action News reporter Brian Abel tells us how the drama started and left a neighborhood on edge tonight. A group of teens were walking here on Pinehurst when five shots were fired at them. Police nearby heard the shots, came here quickly, and police believe the gunfire may be because of retaliation. Around 3 Thursday afternoon, a call of shots fired near an apartment complex on Pinehurst in Roseville. We had two squad cars in the immediate vicinity and actually heard the gunfire take place. So close that the suspect car, this Chrysler Concorde, was still there. Our officers attempted to stop that car. It uh, took off at a high rate of speed and ended up crashing a couple blocks later. On Kuntz at Frazo, three people were inside this home. I looked out the window and seeing the car hit my sister's car and then hit our porch. It was like a boom, like sound like a bomb went off or something. Out of that car hopped a uh, young black male who threw a handgun and then ran off into the neighborhood. Also in the car, a young woman taken into custody and released. Police started searching for the suspected shooter. Right across the street here, this house, my neighbor right here, there were two cops with canine units going through both backyards. No luck and police say they aren't getting any help from those involved, but believe the shooting that sparked the manhunt was in retaliation for a stabbing weeks earlier. Not seriously, they were cut, um, but again, no one would say who did anything. It was all very like this. We don't, don't know anything. We didn't see anything. We don't know anybody's names, etc. Roseville police still trying to identify that driver, the suspected shooter. He is still on the loose tonight. Reporting in Roseville, Brian Abel, 7 Action News.